Hello children, I welcome you all to today's 7th standard 2nd language English class. Today we are going to continue with the second part of the lesson Avoid Plastics. Children, before we start the class, please be ready with your textbook, notebook, pen and pencil so that you can note down what is being taught in today's class. In the previous class, we learned that plastics are used everywhere in the kitchen, the toys, the furnitures and all around us. Plastic is present everywhere. And we also saw a small video about how plastic is made. Now, do you all remember who invented plastic children? It was Alexander Parks. He demonstrated about plastic in an international exhibition in London. We also learnt that plastic is very cheap, it is inexpensive, it is long lasting and it can be molded into any form. Now due to these qualities, plastic is a threat to our environment. It causes many environmental hazards. Different varieties of plastics are manufactured. As you can see in the picture, these are the hard plastic materials. We use plastic for packaging materials. We use plastic to manufacture disposable carry bags. Now what happens to all these plastic after we use it? Mostly, we throw them away and it remains in the soil. As you can see here, plastic is everywhere around us. And what is happening? It does not decompose. You can see some of the vegetable remains here. What has happened? The vegetables have decomposed. Whereas what happens to plastic? It does not get decomposed and it remains in the soil. Since plastic cannot be decomposed, it is called as non-biodegradable. In the previous class, I have explained to you the meaning of non-biodegradable, meaning Jaivika Vighataniya Vallada Vastu. Today, we will learn more about the dangers of plastic and what we can do to avoid plastics. I am going to read from paragraph 4 in page number 23. Children, listen carefully so that you can practice reading later. Plastic causes serious damage to the environment at every stage of its production or even in its disposal. To reduce the risks involved in plastic, the usage should be minimized, which can result in production. The chemical that is used in the production of plastics is toxic and can cause serious damage to all living beings. Even recycling of plastic causes problems. The worst thing is that recycling degrades the quality of plastic and demands the production of more plastic to make an original product. A single plastic sheet can take about thousand years to rot. It also has bad impact on the food chain. Plastic is one of the causes for global warming. Rivers have become the main dumping ground for plastics which pollute water, marine life and also the air that we breathe. 
many are being profited by plastic those who get profit from plastics are trying to dispute the harm that it causes you cannot completely stop the use of plastic but can definitely minimize its production for a healthy future the use of plastic should be minimized at any cost children did you all listen carefully very good you can practice reading the lesson later now as i was reading we came across some of the new words now let us learn the meanings of these new words first word risk meaning danger in the lesson we have the sentence to reduce the risk involved in plastic risk means danger reduce the risk means to reduce the dangers of plastic kannadadal en heltivi danger ge apayakari alva so illi en heltidare plastic in the agu apayavannu nav en madbeku kadime madbeku next word minimized meaning reduced in the lesson we have the sentence to reduce the risks involved in plastic the usage should be minimized the usage should be minimized minimized means reduced the meaning is we should reduce the usage of plastic minimized andre kadime madbeku enna kadime madbeku plastic ina balakeyanna naavu kadime madbeku next word toxic meaning poisonous the chemical that is used in the production of plastics is toxic meaning in the production of plastic many chemicals are used and these chemicals are very poisonous toxic andre en makla toxic andre vishakari padartha ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ತಯಾರಿ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಹಲವಾರು ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ಸನ್ನು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ತುಂಬ ವಿಷಕಾರಿಯಾದದ್ದು ಅದು ಏನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಮರಗಿಡಗಳಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಪರಿಸರಕ್ಕೆ ತುಂಬ ಹಾನಿಯನ್ನು ಉಂಟು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಡಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಚೀಪನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೆಸನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ recycling degrades the quality of plastic degrades the quality of plastic means recycling will cheapen the quality of plastic or it will reduce the quality of plastic makle plastic ina naavu recycle madadage enagutte andre plastic ina ond quality enide adu kadime aagibidutte next word global warming meaning increase in earth's average surface temperature now due to plastic pollution what happens is the earth's surface temperature increases andre enagutte bhoomiya ondu tapamana enide adu hechagutte adrinda enagutte global warming plastic is one of the causes for global warming next word dumping meaning disposing of waste in a careless way disposing of waste in a careless way andre eno dariyalle ellaru kasavanna esthirtare kelavond kade alva rasteyalli beedigalalli kasana esthirtare adanna navu en heltivi dumping disposing of waste in a careless way some people don't follow the rules and they just throw the waste here and there in a very careless way next word marine life meaning water life water life means all the animals and plants that live in the water all together they are called as water life or marine life neerali vasa maduva pranigalu mattu ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಗಿಡಗಳಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ನಾವೇನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಮರೈನ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ 
activity for you. You have to match the words with their meanings. I have given you words on one side and their meanings on the other side. Children, start matching the words with their meanings. Now let's check the answers. The first word is risk meaning danger. The second word is minimize meaning reduce. Third word is toxic meaning poisonous. The fourth word is degrade meaning cheapen. The last one is marine meaning water life. Those who got the answers right, you did a great job. Well done. Children, let's have a look at the video and understand more about the dangers of plastic. saw in the video what has happened. We can see plastic everywhere. It has reached even the seas and oceans. Children, as you can see here, we are using plastic in every possible shape and form. And what has happened? It has caused a lot of problems to our environment. Let us understand in detail how it has caused problems. As you can see, these are the different stages of production of plastic. At times, while producing the oil that is required for the plastic, there is leakage of oil in the sea. And in the factories that manufacture plastic, there is a lot of smoke that is let out. So due to this, there are a lot of problems that is caused to the environment. And as you can see here, plastic at every stage of its production and disposal causes damage to the environment. It means that at every stage of its production and as well as at disposal of plastic, it leads to a lot of serious problems. The chemicals that are used in the manufacture of plastic are all toxic. What do you understand by toxic? Toxic means poisonous. These chemicals are all very poisonous. So when we use this plastic, it will affect our health. Plastic has affected our food chain too. The plastic that we use and throw here and there is causing a lot of damage to all living beings. Even the recycle of plastic is causing a lot of problems as it degrades the quality of plastic and it demands the production of more plastic to manufacture the original product. Children, a single sheet of plastic can take about 1000 years to rot. Just look at the pile of plastic lying here. 
can you imagine how many years it would take for this pile of plastic to rot? Yes, we just can't even imagine. All these are leading to global warming. There are many reasons for global warming and one such reason is plastic. What is global warming? It is the increase in the earth's surface temperature. Global warming and the makla bhoomiya tapamanadali yerike. This is called as the greenhouse effect. Greenhouse gases help to balance the earth's surface temperature. But due to global warming, what is happening? The greenhouse gases are not able to balance the temperature and eventually the earth's surface temperature is increasing. Now let's look at the effects of global warming. Global warming in Dagi, enala changes As you can see here, these are the glaciers and here are the ice sheets. Now, as the temperature of the earth's surface increases, the glaciers and the ice sheets start melting. Bhumiya tapa manadali erike unta godrinda, e glaciers matu ice sheets anyway, adu karukta ide. Idu karagodrinda yenagate Sagaradali, Samudra daliro nirina, level enagate, jasti akta hogate. The water level in the sea and oceans will start increasing. As it increases, it will cover more of the land. And where will the animals and plants go? They start moving upwards. And if this continues, all the ice will melt and the water level will reach up and we will have no land or place to live. Children, have a look at the different temperature increase in the dew course. This is the picture from 2013. You can see that only few parts of the earth are warm. And this is the picture from 2014. And you can see the difference. There is increase in temperature. And this is from 2019. What has happened? The whole earth is boiling right now. The temperature has increased much more. What is the end result of it? It is going to affect the water we use, the air we breathe, all the trees and plants around us, the mountains and the glaciers. Rivers have become the dumping ground. All the plastic that we use, we are just throwing it away. What happens to all that plastic waste? It is all being dumped in the river. Now due to that, the marine life is affected. Plastic causes serious damage to marine life. Now, Nadigalali, yes, there are plastic waste, Allah, in Martaide, Samudra Dali, Sagar Dali, Prani Galigala, Hani Untu Martaide. Nadigal Eloive, Samudra Eloide. Adre, now Nadigalali Madu Malinia Hege Ali Oxerate. Very good. Yakadre, Nadigalala. Harkond hogi eli seratwe, Sagar deli, Samudra deli, serate, Hagagi, nav elo irbodu, Adre, nav madu malinia dinda, idi jagatigene, parinama, untagate. What is the solution for all this? How can we stop it? We have to say no to plastic, and we have to minimize the use of plastic. What is the meaning of minimize children? Minimize means we have to reduce the use of plastic. For this, we can remember the 3 R formula. What are the 3 R's? Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce is the first step where we have to minimize the use of plastic. Reuse, it means we have to use the same thing or object again and again instead of throwing it away. Next, the last one, recycle. We can 
recycle plastic and make something new out of it. Children, you and I together we can save our planet and make it a healthier and beautiful place for our future generations. Hope you all understood the lesson children. Now, here is an activity complete the sentences with the right answer. First one, the use of plastic should be dash which is the right answer. Maximize, moderate, minimized. The right answer is minimized. Second question, dash have become dumping ground of plastic waste. Sea, rivers, ocean. Rivers. Third question, a single sheet of plastic can take about dash years to rot. Ten, hundred, thousands. The right answer is thousands of years to rot. Fourth question, plastic is one of the reasons for dash. Global cooling, global warming, rain. And the right answer is global warming. Very good children, you all did an awesome job. Now let's move on to our next topic. Now can you all read the sentence? What is your name? Now come on read the second sentence. Who are you? Now read the third sentence. How are you? Now these are the questions. And our next topic is question words. Let us learn more about the question words. The word what is used for specific things or objects. For example, what is this? What is that? What are these? What are those? In Kannada, Yeno. Kelvome nivu Kannada dal prashne kelvaga. Idu yeno, adi yeno, anta kelti ralva. Ha, adhe tera English le. Now yen bade ke marti be what? Let's move on to the next one. Why? We use why to know the reason. Reason andre yeno karana. Karana tiro kolo dukos kara. Now yau pada din da prashne onu shuru marti be why? Example. Why are you sad? Adhe niv kannada dal kelo hagi dhar he kelti ra. Ya ke ishto dukhwa gidi dia anta kelti ra. Alva. Adhe ke niv kelti ve kannada dali a k. Next word is where. We use the question word where for place. As you can see in the picture, there is a vase on a table. So what is the question? Where is the vase? In Kannada, Ellie. Next word, which. The question word which is used for things. Not one thing, but when there are more than one things. For example, maybe two pens or three pens or four pens. And you want to know which one in specific among them. At that situation, we use the word which. Example, which is your pen? As you can see in the picture, there are many pens. And the answer is one among them. So the question is, which is your pen? In Kannada, yaudu athava yava. Next word, who. We use the word who for a person when the person is a subject in the sentence. Example, who is that boy? What do you tell in Kannada? Yaru. Next word, when. We use the question word when to specify the time. It could be the date or day, month, duration and such things. For example, when can I meet you? In Kannada, Yavaga. The next question word is whom. We use the question word whom 
for a person when it is an object in a sentence. Whom did you see? Whom did you see? In Kannada we say Yaranu. The next question word is how? We use the question word in different ways. First one is for the manner. Example, how are you? Next one is to know the method. Method or process or procedure. For example, how did you do it? Third one is to know the way. For example, how far is it? In Kannada, what is the word? Hege. Nini dinna hege kandidde. Nivu hege dira. And then prashna kelti valva. Yes. In English, the word is how. Now, here is an activity for you. Hope you all remember the question words because you have to use them to fill in the blanks with suitable question words. Let's start the activity. Here are a few sentences and here are your clues. Now come on start filling in the blanks. Let's check our answers. The first question Dash invented telephone. What is the right question word? Who invented telephone? Second question, dash is the baby crying. The answer is, why is the baby crying? Third question, dash is your pen. Answer, which is your pen? Fourth one, dash far is the bus stop from here? Answer, how far is the bus stop from here? Children, those who got the right answers, you did an excellent job. Now is your homework time. In your textbook, you all can come to page number 27. G1. Fill in the blanks with suitable question words. You can write this in your notebook and try to find the answers. Next one is D1. Rearrange the words in alphabetical order. Find them in the dictionary. They have given you some words here and you have to arrange them in alphabetical order. You can take help of the dictionary and write the answers. Children, do your homework and show it to your teacher at school. Thank you children. I will meet you soon with a new lesson. Bye.